Matilda Ed on Mix 93.8 FM. Good evening. My name is Graham Alexander in the studio as usual. Reno looking after the desk and Kay looking after all of us. I'm going to be chatting to Sinamile Mazaboko from Jiprock. We're going to be talking about new building methods, new building systems. But Kay has something first. I do. Tonight we're going to be talking a little bit about Sun City as well and some of the amazing concerts that took place there after it was officially opened on the 7th of December 1979. There were quite a few amazing bands and I know everyone sort of rushed off to to Sun City to do the illicit gambling, look at sort of nude shows and definitely go to rock concerts. And we've had some quite interesting um, people who played there, Frank Sinatra being one of them. Obviously, that wasn't rock, but um, Black Sabbath also played. So send us your SMSs, uh, 41348, and tell us what's your favorite concert or what was your memory from the back in the day at Sun City. Show is brought to you by Cobra Watertech. I'm chatting to Senemile Mazibuko. Um, do you mind if I refer to you as Seni? Not at all. Who's going? <laughs> We've got to know each other. The yes. Seni was on the show uh, a couple of years ago, and 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 we can have another great show, um, chatting about um, new building systems, definitely um, new ways of of building homes. Um, Seni, but what I'd like to start with, and when we have ladies on the show, I find it even more interesting, is how you got into this industry and how did you get to work at Jibrock? Okay, um, I have a background in hospitality, so um, my highlight in my life was being part of the opening teams that built and opened new hotels. Um, the building industry is quite interesting for me, and um, I've been in the construction industry now for 10 years. Uh, working with Jibrock, um, Sangaman Jibrock. And yeah, I'm passionate about building comfort, uh, building comfortable homes. When people often ask me, so what do you do? I sell comfort. Um, so the, the building industry is, you know, quite um, interesting for me. And so I'm passionate about new technologies. I'm passionate about um, building homes um, that are lasting and, and you know, experience uh, where people can experience great comfort. You're one of the guys that makes the world go round. Um, Sangaban is a, a giant internationally for building materials. Um, and Jiprock is, is, is part of Sangaban in, in South Africa. Um, just give me a bit of a background on, on Sangaban and, and Jiprock, just so we know who we, we're chatting about. Sangaban, um, many, many, many years ago, before we were even thought of, um, manufactured glass. Now, a great majority of the European cars and the um, um, lovely German sedans that we like have got glass that is manufactured by Sangaban uh, Security. Um, the glass, the mirrors in the uh, Versailles were also manufactured by Sangaban. Um, Sangaban has grown into different um, um, subsidiaries. So there is Weber that looks after the manufacturing of mortars, tile adhesive and uh, plasters. We also have um, Isova which manufactures glass wool and rock wool. We have PAM that does piping and um, Sangaman Jiprock manufactures plasterboard, plasterboard used for ceilings and walls. So um, this is the new technology that I'm talking about where we're saying to people, don't only use brick and mortar to build your homes, but consider how... Um, what else you can use to build those homes. I think it's always important that as... Um, as we grow uh, in our families or individually, uh, proper planning prevents poor performance. So you've got to always think about what kind of performance are you looking for in your structure? What kind of home do you want to live in? Do you want to be able to rebuild it or reconstruct it um, or reconfigure it later on? And the best thing to do that with is what will determine what performance you're looking for and what product you use in that case. Sure. Anyone out there that's um, had any touch with the, the building industry um, knows the term rhino board okay it's your ceiling boards and 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 walling and so on as you've said um, um just so that we all understand that's that's your product there's yeah. rhino board for ceilings and there's rhino board for walling and um over time we've evolved so much um in a in a way that we are able to meet the needs of the changing society so the walling space has always been commercial 
yeah. but the same uh, the, the same commercial wall will continue to exist in our in our shopping centers in our office spaces however in our home environment and um, there are new uh, improved technologies that actually can be used for the walling system I think um, the walling systems we're going to chat about tonight have always been known in, in commercial developments, offices, and, and so on, but are becoming a lot more popular and, and more used in, in the, the, the residential, residential. Um, sector for reasons we're going to chat about um, a bit later, Cindy, um, like flexibility and insulation um, and so on. But we're going to listen to some music and then come back and chat more about this exciting system. Remember, if you had a bit of fun at um, Sun City in days gone by, a bit of, bit of a sensitive issue because, you know, the, the guys that were coming playing at Sun City weren't really meant to be there because it was during apartheid and so on. But a lot of great acts have been at Sun City after 1994. But let's put that aside for a second. If you did have some fun going to one of these concerts, who did you go and see and um, how did you enjoy it? Did you stay at the cabanas and all the like, ten of you fit into one room? That kind of stuff. SMS us on 41348. Next. Build Aid on Mix 93.8 FM. Brought to you by Cobra Water Tech. Yeah, okay. I remember the Queen concert where everyone arrived, including us, and he lost his voice. That was a so travesty, yes. We all went home. <laughs> or jammed into one cabana. If you have memories of those rock concerts, SMS us on 41348, and we'll chat about it on air. Seni, back to building systems and new ways of building. Um just so we understand um, what a walling system is, and we've discussed the board. You have ceiling boards and you have boards for walls without getting too technical because I know they're different thicknesses and so on. Yes. And we'll talk about um, acoustics and that in a minute. Um, but when you put this wall up, what is it essentially constructed of? So the, the, the wall would normally have a floor track and a ceiling track and then the studs in between, um, you know, uh, in the different spacings. And then the board is used to clad the steel frame that has been put up. So um, the steel frame is used to partition. You know, people comfortably call the walling systems partitioning. Um, it's exactly that. So you, you, you're partitioning the, the, the shell of the structure that you've built on there. So the f steel frame is what is inside of the board, and the board is used just for cladding. Furthermore, in the cavity of the wall, you could put in your insulation. So based on the thickness of the wall that you've chosen, which can range from uh, 102 to 63 to 58, um, inside of that comes cavity bat um, in, the wall, in the walls. And in the ceilings, you have um, aerolite think pink insulation. When it comes to healthy, healthy living, um, you guys have a couple of innovative um, <coughs> products, but one of them is active air. And, and it always confuses me a bit. But I know you're going to clear this up for me. <laughs> Active Air is a, is a fascinating product, very new and innovative product in the country. It is um, treated with a product that can last up to 75 years. And it continues to remove VOCs in the air, volatile organic compounds. So these um, volatile organic compounds continue to live with us, but then they are absorbed and clean the air um, from, a, from a room. And it's absorbed in the core of the gypsum wall. Now, um, people who've got asthma, um, people who are building nurseries in their home, uh, people who are particular about indoor air quality would be quite keen to understand what kind of walling system um, you can use to clean the air and continue to clean the air for as long as your building stands. And active air is the product to use. Okay. And that could be used in the wall or, or the ceiling? It's a walling uh, system, but there are ceiling tiles that have got active air. So the, the, the product that removes VOCs is in the core of the board. So you can have an active air ceiling and an active air wall. Okay. Um, acoustics are also important, not only in residential, but possibly in commercial, certainly in commercial. Um, and, and you make you make a pro product called Soundblock, um, and and I, I know, okay, but I don't think everybody else out there knows. Can get quite technical um, with the thickness of the walls and 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 so on. But essentially, w what is it in this product that well, that uh, blocks the sound or prevents sound? I'm no acoustician, and um, acoustics is a very um, 
interesting subject to talk about. But what Sunblock does, um, so if you look, if you if you're constructing a building, like I said earlier on, you've got to plan properly. So you understand very quickly what kind of performance you're looking for. And when you understand what performance you're looking for, you'll be able to select a um, a system that you're going to work with. And Sunblock um, does one of two things for you: is absorb sound. And it also um, um, controls the acoustics in the room. So what you need to really do is you don't want to sit in a room where there is, there is a constant echo. Or you don't want to have, sit in a room where you can hear exactly what's going on next door. So Soundblock is a very good system to, you know, to, to um, build a room that is um, acoustically sound. Yeah. I remember something else, Kay. Um, we went to, I think it was the Elton John show and Rod Stewart came on stage or the other way around. It goes back a little while. Apparently, it was the other way around. Who else was there? Well, um, Greg Katz has SMSed us in, and he says that he remembers in about 1904, Sting was an amazing concert, and he actually got drunk with his drummer um, until quite late after that concert. And Trick says that Queen was by far the greatest concert ever. It totally blew her away, and she felt exhilarated. And TK says the Super Bowl and New Year's Eve concerts um, a lot of SA bands, absolutely brilliant stuff. And I'm sure they needed to use a bit of sound block. <laughs> yes, certainly. I mean, with, with um, the, there's a, 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 a space where you've got restaurants and clubs in the same space. And acoustics then is very, very important. You don't want to be sitting at a dinner table and the drummer is doing his thing and you can hardly hear the person that you're sitting next to. Yeah. So sound block and uh, um, acoustic panels would be very important in that kind of environment and in a lot of spaces that you go into um, a lot of um, sound block is used um, to control the sounds Cindy, what I really want to get into chatting to you about is is affordable homes and and how you guys get involved in that but we're going to take a short break and then come back and chat some more Good music all week long This is Build Aid on Mix 93.8 FM. I'm speaking to Seni Mazibuka from Jiprock, part of the San Gobain Group. Seni, chatting about residential, and we know your product fits in a residential, um, but affordable housing. There's some new legislation um, with regard to RDP um, homes. Tell us a bit about um, the new specifications. Okay, the um, recently there was um, the introduction of SANS 204, um, and from SANS 204 there's been an, 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 an enhancement on from the Department of Human Settlement for RDP housing. Now that says that as you're building our homes, there is an allocated subsidy to housing, but the subsidy has been increased to include ceilings and insulation in the in in the in the construction thereof. So for me, that is a big thing because we continually um, advocate for building comfortable homes. Now, if you think about the remarkable work that has been done in the country, um, the department reports that they've built 2.3, 2.5 million houses. That's a phenomenal uh, achievement. The dilemma is those houses haven't been built to um, high specification or to perfection, and a lot of them need to be redone. Um, that's a big dilemma. The opportunity is that we can take these homes and make them better. For the new builds, they need to be including insulation and ceilings. For the ones that have got to be rebuilt or renovated or redone, um, they should be able to include all of that. And therefore, people who are living in those homes will use less energy to heat up their homes and to cool those homes because they will be thermally sound and they'll be insulated. And every home should be comfortable for the family. Now, if you've got a comfortable home, it should be including a ceiling and insulation to achieve that comfort. There are many good reasons why South Africans should own homes, and it makes good sense to build them properly in the first place. But a question, Seni, the homes that haven't included ceilings, how easy is it to go back to these homes now and retrofit, put ceilings in? Um, Were the roofs fitted properly, or am I getting too technical? Well, I I, I don't know um, what the current state of the houses are right now as we speak but certainly when people uh, occupy a home the first thing that you want to do is keep the rain out you can put up with a little bit of sun but you want to keep the rain out so your roof structure needs to be waterproofed um, you cannot live in a you cannot put up a ceiling if your roof is leaking 
the, if you put up a ceiling and your roof is leaking, that paper that gypsum inside is going to frizzle away and yeah. you'll have no ceiling in no time. So the first thing you've got to be able to do is make sure that your water, your your, your roof is watertight. Um, and then you can put up a ceiling. It should be quite easy. A 40 square meter house, um, there the, are the various retailers nearby our townships that are actually... Um, carrying our board as well as part of their stock. Um, easy installation is what we're really gunning for. There are a number of contractors also that are able to um, work with that. But I mean, if you get a couple of friends together and you understand what you're doing, you're able to put you the measurements serve. together, you can do it. But the consumer buying behavior at the moment is that people will go and finance, you know, I'll go and pay for the, for the ceiling or for the product, but we'll get somebody else to come and do it for me. Yeah. Um, so those are opportunities that actually exist. Your product and and system in affordable um, housing, Simeon, and, and correct me if this is this is wrong. Um, you're working with masonry or brick and mortar external structures, and you, and you're putting your product into the internal walls. Is that correct? Has that been the bulk of the work that you've been involved in? There 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 are different worlds. Um, there will be always be early adopters. And there'll always be those who follow, who follow the early yeah. adopters. Now we have uh, put up a beautiful home in Monaghan Farm um, on Stand 47. Um, it's a steel-framed house that has got um, ethics on the exterior, which is also a uh, Weber system, and on the interior is cladded with plasterboard. And the internal partitioning from the bathroom to the kitchen to the bedrooms has used plasterboard. Now, um, I always say that we've got to plan properly so we can achieve the right performance. If you're going to be building in the wet areas, your bathroom and your kitchen, you need a moisture-resistant board, which is a uh, um, one of the boards that we manufacture also. It's impregnated with water resistance um, so that the... the activities that happen in the bathroom in the kitchen don't uh, pull the put the board apart yeah. um internally in your partitioning from your uh, different bedrooms you would want to use sound block and active air um you also want to be able to use duraline which is a board that um gives you durability um in your traffic areas in hospitals in your traffic areas in the commercial spaces of supermarkets or um um Offices, Duraline is what you want to use in your in your corridors because it is durable, and so it can take all the knock and the traffic that goes with it. Um, in the affordable housing space or the RTP space, a social re- uh, um, social acceptability is very important. Yeah. So when you say to people you want to build a, a structure with steel frame, they're like, how? So yeah, I mean, yeah. how does this work now? <laughs> you know. I want to come back to you on that in in, in a in a sec. Um, Seni, uh, um, Kay's got some news for us. But before you tell us that, Kay, something back to the Sun City experience and going to watch rock concerts, etc., was the journey back. Because if you couldn't fit 20 of you into a cabana, um, you had to drive back. And that was pretty hairy. Um, and maybe there's some experiences out there when people want to share with us. Sure, there are quite a few flat goats who can attest to the, <laughs> the very bad driving back from Sun City. Well, Carly SMS us and said that after the George Benson concert, and he was amazing, apparently she slept in the car, um, which was probably a lot more uh, you know, responsible than trying to drive home after... Um, such a such a night and she says those were the days much more freedom and the the other bands that we've we've seen at sun city paul anchor canadian artist not sure if, <laughs> how popular he is here status quo julio iglesias the ojs ray charles boney m hopefully they didn't sing their christmas album songs <laughs> um definitely shirley bassey i in fact saw her um singing goldfinger and um, she changed an outfit every single song. Also, Natalie Cole sang um, and does a duet with her father on video. Pretty amazing stuff. Next. Old Aid on Mix 93.8 FM. Brought to you by Cobra Watertech. My name's Graham Alexander. I'm chatting to Seni Mazibuko from Jiprock. Seni is a senior or sector manager for, for housing, education, and health um, at St. Gobain, Jiprock. Seni, um, when I cut you off a little earlier, you were going on to the acceptance of, of a, a system like yours with a, with a steel frame with cladded with two, two boards. Um, in a market that has been used to masonry for for centuries, really, 
Um, how, how, you, has that improved the, accept, the acceptability? Well, um, Graham, there's two things. Um, social acceptability is one of the things that we do re- uh, intensive research on before we start manufacturing and developing a product. Uh, because you don't want to produ- produce a product that will not be acceptable by the uh, sure. people that you're, that you're targeting. So, um, it, it is a big thing. Uh, and when you think about it, you've saved so, for so long to get to a point where you're able to build your own home. Or you've benefited a, a, a piece of land and now you're going to build. After many years, you, all you know is brick and mortar. So it's tried, tested, you understand that. But as time goes on, we need to th- be thinking about future spaces. What do our future spaces look like? Um, what are we going to be able to do with the building um, uh, industry? What kind of products are going to be you know, introduced? Now, for any business to be successful, innovation is a big key. Yeah. Um, su- superior innovation needs to take place. So social acceptability in the RDP or low end of the market is that people are still comfortable using masonry um, on the exterior, but are quite comfortable to use plasterboard in the interior. Um, and interestingly enough, um, two years ago, we built 40 homes in uh, Deep Slut. It is the most gratifying thing to see now, Graham, how people's lives have changed because they're living in homes with plasterboard in them. The insulated ceilings gives you great comfort. Um, the house is warm. Uh, the house is cool when it's hot in the daytime. And, I mean, I've known a lot of the theory based on our products. But for the first time in a long time, I can talk and testify that the homes in Deep Slut are the most comfortable homes that we've experienced in a long time. Yeah. I remember the last time you were on the show, you guys were busy with those with those homes. So it, it's great to hear um, that it's, it's such a success. And um, you, you refer to the importance of owning a home. Um, and certainly what really gratifies me is the opportunity that we've given to those people. They have also grown to extend their homes. The children who never would have enjoyed their own bedrooms live with their grandmothers and have been allocated their own room. So the privacy, the space, the communal spaces are really, really something that is very beneficial to the families that have benefited from the project. Yeah. Um, Back to a slightly technical issue, but it's also a cost saving, is that if you're using um, your walling system on the internal walls, um, you don't need foundations under those, those walls. Um, you can rest the walls straight onto the, the floor slab. So, so there are a whole lot of benefits, um, um, not just from an environmental energy efficiency point of view, but also from a, from a cost point of view. Certainly. I mean, the, the, the slab is the foundation. Yeah. Um, so you can put your, your, your track instead right on top of the foundation of that floor that, that comes out of the foundation. But also there is no water that is used in the internal partitioning. So you save a hell of a lot of money, a lot of, um, a, you know, water, uh, which is taken from the environment. Yeah. So you save a lot of water basically pre- using um, a system that requires absolutely none of that. Yeah. Um, Sini, you, you men- mentioned earlier that you, you come from the um, hotel entertainment, not entertainment. Hotel. Hotel industry. And we're chatting about Sun City tonight um, and, and, and more specifically about the different concerts. Um, that have been held at, at Sun City over the over the decades. Um, what was your experience of of the group, <laughs> Mr. Kirzner and, and Sun City and I think Lost my, City? My experience uh, of Sun City was the John Legend show, um, which is really really brilliant. Um, the Super Bowl. I mean, if Sun City was built in 1979, I was two years old. So everything else happened post the 90s. It must have been early 2000s. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, I think the fake ivy in the big hotels and the cabanas still continues to exist. Love it. <laughs> so uh, the ivy's been there from 1979. It's still going, not dusty. Um, we've had George say, Black Sabbath, brilliant weekend. And uh, another SMS saying, I remember Natalie Cole, pretty awesome singing with her dad. So send us an SMS with your memories of Sun City two four one three four eight. Tell us what you got up to um, in the cabanas and in the dark by the pool. Yeah, let's see um, who got the most people into a cabana. Send us an SMS on four one three four eight. I have a feeling some of my mates might win that competition. Seni, um, talking about 
um, the Jiprock walling system and, and the board you use and, and so on, um, it, would, it wouldn't be fair if we didn't go through what the advantages are. And we've already touched on, on a few. Um, and, and without trying to sound like we're promoting your project, um, um, your product, um, this is a building show. And, and I think looking at new systems, like although when we say new, I mean it's relatively new yep. um, and, and should be, be used. Um, for various reasons, but maybe you can just run us through some of the... It's new because not many people are building their residential homes using plasterboard. Um, so the benefit would be a great deal that when you start building and you've got constru- contractors on your site, that is time, that is money. So the speed of your, uh, installing a um, plasterboard in your home is far less than the, the, the brick and mortar. Secondly, when you're going to put conduits into your um, into your wall, there's nothing worse than chiseling into that brick wall to put your um, services. With plasterboard or um, walling systems that we use, all of that goes into the cavity. In fact, the studs have got service holes that accommodate plumbing and electricity um, in, 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 the, in the cavity. Um, there is time saving there. There is um, saving of water in the construction thereof. Um, there is an opportunity to reconfigure that room, if uh, that, that house, if you need to, or if that space that you were operating in. And most importantly, there is fire properties. Um, fire resistance um, in these walls. So the, the, the walling systems comes with the fire rating, which means that it will take so much time for fire to escape from one room to the other. Yeah. And that is something that we all neglect when we are um, building our homes. And in fact, SANS 204 Part T refers to um, the fire. So a lot of the um, standards um, of national building standards and regulations are talking to all these needs that we have and the product that we talk about addresses all the uh, advantages that we can do. In terms of the new regulation and RDP homes, they now need ceilings. Is there also a fire rating on the ceiling board? Well, the the, the, the Aerolight insulation and the board will certainly give you a, a rating there on, um, but certainly what will happen is the fire won't start from the top, will come from around the, the from the room. Sure. So um, but one there, thinks is, there a f- is a contribution to it. A fire going into the roof without any f- uh, uh, um, fire resistance and the roof catches fire because it's made of wood. What we do um, in our in our specification, uh, Graham, is our specification comes with steel brand ring instead of wooden brand ring. Now, wooden brand ring will fuel the fire whereas steel branding won't do that. So in our thinking and in our development of um, sealing systems, um, steel branding is what we specify. Yeah. Um, Sini, just to then with flexibility and saying we could make move a wall or make a two-bedroomed house, a one-bedroom or, or whatever, how easy is it to actually deconstruct the, the wall and put it back again? Or is, it's I, not I'm, I'm sure it's not reusable. It's not reusable. So, so where, where does the flexibility come into it? It's just obviously demolishing a brick wall leaves a bit of a scar. Yes. So if you've got two bedrooms that are three by three, you can end up with uh, one big bedroom that is six by three yeah. by removing that partitioning in the middle uh, thereof. But certainly not reusable. Um, I mean, there would be no point. We would never be able to make money if we reused all the walls. <laughs> We're already using recycled paper in the manufacturing process. So we've paid our dues. Yeah. Uh, the wall is not reusable. But certainly when you think about flexibility and reconfiguring, you've got a three-bedroom house. The children grow up. You've got one child left in the house. Extend the rooms. Put a study together. Um, separate one bedroom into, into a two-bedroom. Easy. Okay. Beat 12 in a cabana. How are we doing there, Kay? Uh, I think that um, we haven't got very much competition for 12 yet. But um, if are you, we getting there? If, yes. If you've managed to squish in more than 12 people into a two-sleeper cabana, <laughs> please <laughs> do Standing up in the cupboard. Um, yeah, SMS us on 41348. And if you, you have any stories of the best concert you went to. Right 
Rod Stewart lost his voice earlier um, in the nating um, Queen, but we got him back, and that was Motown Records' brilliant song. I hope that lifted your mood for tonight. We got an SMS from Alison, who has been to probably more concerts than most people have, and um, she was definitely doing some interesting things in the car park with six other people. And then James says he can't count how many people were in his cabana, but he's sure it's more than 12. So there you go. Um, perhaps James wins the prize. Mix. Old Aid on Mix 93.8 FM. Remember, we've been broadcasting from the Rand Show um, for the last few days or many days, and are going to continue to do that. The show is brought to you by Cobra Water Tech. I'm chatting to Senny from Jiprock. Senny, one of my favorite subjects is training. Now, I know you guys offer extensive training. And it's free. Tell us a little bit about <laughs> it. <laughs> Not much comes for free. No, no. So the um, training academy at uh, Sangaban is supported by the Mercita. And um, what I really encourage is if you're owning a, a construction company and you've got um, people that need to be upskilled, this is a very good place to do that. Um, uh, so you can do, you can improve the skill or you can get a new skill. We um, run learnerships on an annual basis. Um, up to 150 students have been enrolled um, this year for our learnership. And those guys will come out of the uh, academy with the skill to work with this new technology. Now, if you've got people who are working with the product already, um, we can improve the skill that they have um, and introduce them to new um, product. The the um, training is very important because if I'm going to continue talking about a new system, I'm going to need a new set of skills to actually work with the product. And um, in South Africa, one of the things that we do have is an industry that is growing um, drastically um, in the construction sector. So skill is very important and we can do the training at our academy. Bookings are obviously essentials um, uh, for the contractor who can come into the short courses. It's not a year-long um, you know, training. Yeah. So if you join the learnership, you're in the learnership for a year. But if you need to bring your guys in for short courses, there is a one-day, two-day, three-day uh, course, depending on what skill you're wanting to improve. Okay. So if I'm a small, medium building contractor and I want to get my guys trained up on ceiling boards or, or walling, um, they get hold of Jiprock and yes. I can bring them there and you're going to train them for free. Let's have a look at the website on www.jibrock.co.za and we could also, on that, there are contact details to the academy and the academy um, staff will be able to assist you to book a session to come and train your guys. Um, and also, the guys come in and they're certified. So um, they walk away with a um, proof of their attendance and proof yeah. of their ability to do their work. A huge market has damaged ceilings either from leaks or burst geysers, um, but in the insurance business, it's, it, there's, there, there are thousands. You guys will know this. Mm. Um, and there are a lot of um, contractors involved in this, and, and, and I'd like everyone out there that hears this, um, get hold of Chiprock and Certainly. get your guys trained up. Most certainly. Um, we, I mean, we distribute um, our products through the retailers. Um, we also have our... Um, um, retailers who have got um, programs where they manage um, and, and work with contractors who are in the industry you know um, we are very able to, to train those people yeah. and even if they come to the retailer we're happy to do that I don't know if you've met um, Geraldine Glovo from Black Suppliers and, and he has an initiative at the moment with, with Builders Warehouse or, or Mass Build and, and trying to um, train and 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 get work for placard tradesmen, um, which I think is a nice term okay. for the guys that stand outside Builders Warehouse and other building material supplies okay. looking for work. Um, I just wondered because well, because maybe the there's a connection to train some of these placard of tradesmen in how to fit a ceiling or fix a ceiling. We've got um, our sales reps who call in the retailers. And at the very beginning, what we do is we train the um, assistants, the floor um, uh, stewards, you know, the people on the floor um, who are selling the product, we train them also. So I think there's a good opportunity to train with uh, Gerard and Glovo, um, the, the, the people. Maybe we can also help them to spell Rhino Lot correctly um, 
and also <laughs> assist them in saying if they you know improve their plastering skills improve their insulation skills i think it's a great initiative yeah. and talking to gerald we quite i'll something. put i'll put him in touch with you see. like that I'd like um that. so i'm pleased to mention that you guys make plaster products as well and and a lot of people will know the the product rhino light um, in your training center, you teach people to do this as well. Yes, this is a skill that um, uh, many people in South Africa possess, uh, but they have got the ability to mix dagger. So you've got your sand and cement um, uh, plaster. Run a light is just a mixture of water. There is also a new uh, project, a product called um, Protect and Plaster. So it, you, you can buy the machine. You have a special uh, plaster that you you know put into the machine, and you, instead of mixing it with um, spades with all your uh, other colleagues, you actually the machine mixes it for you, and it is projected onto the wall whilst the other guy floats the plaster. So there is an opportunity for all those people who are doing uh, plastering to learn a new skill. Okay. By using projection plaster. If a homeowner is getting involved in physically getting involved in building their own home, could a homeowner come on the course? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, I think that if you are um, knowledge is power. Yeah. And there is uh, some kind of, there are many. Uh, I don't want to call them shoddy, but untrustworthy contractors. So if you know better. You can't get hit as yeah. many times as you know the, yeah. the, the it's it, most experience that we have now. So Sini. get to know about and more about your building. Thank you so much for coming to chat to us. Awesome, it's just a pleasure We've, to be here. And I look forward to talking talking to you again. Great, thank you. Very Thanks much to there. those guys out there that shared their memories and Sun City had a little bit of fun. Remember, up next is my friend Adam Ford Cortina with the motoring show um stay tuned and we do this every wednesday between six and seven chat to you next week ciao